I believe with all my heart, with all my soul, with all that's invested into me, my boy, John Wall, is going to be an MVP candidate next season. Stop the cap. <laughs> Before y'all get mad, before y'all say I'm clickbaiting, yes, I clickbaited. Yes, I admit it. How many YouTubers gonna admit the clickbait? Do I actually believe he's gonna be an MVP candidate? I also believe that as well. So don't get mad, sit back, relax, enjoy the video. Now the history of John Wall's injury, he basically, basically ruptured his Achilles the first time and it was bad. He had to go out for the whole season. That's when he was rocking the braids in his head. He had the haircut, he was on, he was on some 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 Xanax. I don't know what he was on. He was talking all weird at the SPs. Everything. We're giving a jersey. You are given a platform, a platform that helps bring attention to cause and people in need. Every year, the NBA recognizes a player who has made a major impact on lives of others with this community assist presented by Kaiser Permanente. This year's winner is my brother, my friend, and my teammate. I can tell you his commitment to the youth. That's not the John Wall I know. Then, in his home, he messed it up again. What was you doing, John Wall? Where is your wife? Where is your maid? Do you have a maid? Where is your kids? Why are you up out of bed re-injuring the worst injury of all time in sports? Why? Now, at that point, Wizards fans, basketball fans, everybody, doctors, was mad at John Wall. They say he had the worst contract in NBA history. I mean, bruh. That's John Wall, bro. Like, that's that's John Wall. That's not the worst contract in NBA history, bro. Y'all thinking with y'all emotions and not y'all brains. But in the interview, he said that the Achilles injury wasn't as bad as everybody thought it was. Even himself, the doctor said that he can make a full recovery. Usually, as an athletic player in his prime, Achilles injury is probably the worst injury you can have. Worse than the ACL, worse than a broken leg, worse than everything because you're striving, your whole game is centered around your athleticism. And John Wall, one of the most athletic guards in history, is gonna be bad. But he said that he is gonna be cool. And I seen John Wall with these open runs, and I know open runs is not NBA basketball, but he's looked like in his old self. He's blown by defenders. He's playing defense, playing against James Harden. He's doing everything that he can. And this is that's how you get back from an injury. So don't tell me that John Wall is out here not doing nothing. He's practicing with KD. KD's another guy who had an Achilles injury. And if these two guys come back healthy, like good, something's gonna break in the Achilles injuries history. Because if two all-stars can come back and be great, it's gonna break open a lot of stuff for medicine. Like and COVID actually helped. John Wall because that extra time, that four month layoff helped him progress, help him not rush himself back for the next season. He basically got three months more of treatment, therapy, rest, get your mind right, get your body right, just to focus on himself. And that's 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 happy for everybody. Everybody wanna be healthy. So COVID was kind of a blessing in disguise. And y'all forgetting what, what John Wall was before the injury. This man was one game away from the Eastern Conference Finals where he had a favorable matchup against the Cavaliers. They probably would have lost, most likely would have lost, but it was favorable. You have Steph, obviously the best shooter ever. He gonna be first. You got Russ, he was averaging triple-double. You can't put nothing over that. Then you got John Wall, and then you can interchange with Kyrie just off his dynamicness, if that's a word, of scoring. Then you got Dame, but Dame wasn't that good as he is now. So I'm putting John Wall at the third spot. Am I wrong for that? Am I wrong? So you got top three, if he comes back healthy, top three player in the league, John Wall. Then you have Bradley Bill. A guy, Bradley Bill, has averaged 30 points a game this season, carrying the Wizards on their back. They made it to bubble play. Bradley Bill helped them. And I think this helped Bradley Bill because he got a lot of touches. Bradley Bill has never got these many, these many touches since probably high school. That's crazy to think about. And I think he's better for it. He has more opportunity in the pick and roll, more opportunity as a catch and shoot guy off the ball. He had everything running point guard like Bradley Bill is equipped for a lot of situations that he wasn't equipped for because John Wall was running the offense. And I think you're getting a better Bradley Bill. You're getting understanding John Wall. If I see my teammate teammate average 30 points a game, I'm gonna put the ball in his hands more than I did in the past. And the coaches 
are smart if they do that too. So you have a better backcourt, a more understanding backcourt. John Wall was at the games too, watching Bradley Bill going off of 50, 49, all that. I think that's gonna make a key impact are the role players. We don't talk about the Wizards role players because they, because they sucked as a team, but their role players show something that they didn't show back in the day. Who was the role players that the Wizards played with a couple years back? Otto Porter, Gray Tot, Kelly Oubre, who's not what he is now. I mean, these guys is mid. They is mid. Otto Porter had one good year, but I don't know. I don't know. You have David Bertans, who's probably a top 10 shooter in the league. I'm, I might say top, no, I ain't gonna say top five, but he's top 10. With, he only has nine fingers too. He's gonna get a bag, a stretch big, who can shoot the ball, lights out, is rare and is a, a great value thing to have in the NBA, especially when you have a driving kick guard like John Wall. Then you got Rui Ichimura. If I'm messing up his name, hey, it, it is what it is. But this man, I don't, he, he's, he's always in attack mode. He's a good slasher. I think he's better than Kelly Oubre was at that time. He, he can defend. I seen him guard James Harden in ISO possessions. He got cooked, he got cooked, but at least he tried. You know what I'm saying? And he was a rookie. And I seen Rui have amazing potential. That man straight out of Japan. Japan with it, bruh. Then you got Thomas Bryant, who's better than Marcin Gortat. He's another guy who can shoot the ball. He has very high intensity. He used to play for my Lakers. He can rebound the ball. He can defend. He can might put it on the, on, on the deck a little bit. Then you got a good backup point guard. Every good point guard needs a backup point guard just to fill in them holes. I think Shabazz Napier can run the pick and roll for seven or nine minutes while the guys get rest. I think he can. He can shoot the ball. This is this is common knowledge. Uh, Mo Wagner, Mortiz Wagner, straight out of Germany, came from Michigan, played for my Lakers. Another stretch five. These, they have three guys that can shoot the ball and are over 6'10". That's not good, bro. That's great. He also has high intensity. He doesn't give up. He's not, a scared, of, he's not scared of nobody. And then when you get John Wall back, the throwing up, something some John Wall yelling at the fans will fight John Wall the intensity in your role players especially is gonna be greater for your whole team so if John Wall finishes with a top three record in the east shit I'll go far from saying top two I think Miami is a regular season team they only gonna kick it in, in the playoffs the Bucks might get the first seed but we're not getting a 3 P from Giannis and if the Wizards get that second seed, but they have to overcome the Celtics and John Wall beat John Wall and Bradley Bill still beat Bradley Bill, they, he can be an MVP candidate because it's usually best player on the best team. Steve Nash won it, averaging 15 and 11, but then you got John Wall can average 20 and 11 and still be a high seed. Why can't that happen? Tell me why that can't happen. Am I wrong for thinking that? So that's my opinion. If you agree with my opinion or you want to argue something, leave a comment in my comment section if you like this video like the video and we closest to, and we are close to a thousand subscribers i'm not about to you know what i'm saying be all regular with this i'm on the grind with this y'all gonna see probably i know i said this like 10 times daily uploads out of me if i miss a day i'm gonna double back that same day with two uploads unless one of my videos get like 50k views i'm chilling for that day but i'm on i'm on the grind Man, let's get to it. And that'd be all for this video, bro. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment. Anything you want to see, I'm out. Peace.